though there's more to glass than meets the eye. So today we're taking a look at products that are pulling double duty. I'm Ellen Rogers, editor of U.S. Glass Magazine. And I'm Nick St. Dennis, editor of USGNN.com. For many exhibitors, energy performance continues to be a huge focus. Companies like Sage Electrochromics and J.E. Berkowitz are showing architects how glass can help improve that efficiency. We're showing light zoning here which allows us to take one piece of glass and actually tint parts of it in different ways. So that might allow you to get lots of nice light coming into the room, but at the lower level, cutting out the glare that would prevent you seeing the computer screen comfortably. The whole device can go the same color or it can go into three different, uh, different device modes. So you get this, what we call light zoning. And we said, you know, we could actually make shapes with the product as well. We could make it do different things. That one piece of glass behind me can be tinted one color, or you can have the shapes in different colors. So actually what it allows you to do is create a patterning and an effect and a creation on the building and still do the job that this one will do. And a couple things that we're showing architects here, uh, innovative glass solutions, so ways that you can meet thermal performance requirements. And one of the ways that we wanted to show you was with a three seal structural silicone warm edge spacer. So a couple things with three seal delivers from an aesthetic standpoint, you're getting an extremely straight sight line, one of the straightest sight lines in the industry. Uh, the three seal actually introduces an acrylic adhesive here. So what that helps do is mitigate PIB bleed into your vision area. So something consultants and architects are, you're very concerned with in the architectural glass industry. Other thing we're showcasing here is our renovate system. So it's a window retrofit system and basically as opposed to ripping out and reglazing, you're going in a single pane application and you're literally hermetically sealing an insulated glass unit behind an existing single pane application creating a triple glazed system. What it does for the architect of the building, it increases thermal performance with a series of low E coatings, uh, increases sound attenuation, you know in noisy cities it's a big concern, uh, and then when you get that insulated glass unit behind that single pane window, you can take any of that film off on the outside so you're going to get higher VLT as well. If you've been following our USGNN news coverage over the past year or so, you're probably aware that there's a growing interest in bird-friendly glazing products. That's right. Some companies including Walker Glass have stepped up and developed products that can be used in this type of application. There's definitely an increase, you know, that's quite, you know, uh, rapid and sharp uh, for some form of bird-friendly uh, property on the uh, building facade. But not just on building facade, incidentally, uh, everything that's out, it's an outside glass structure is a potential threat to bird. We came up with other uh, bird-friendly products in the past. There are visual markers on the outside surface of the glass, but there, there was obviously a need to come up with something that would be quasi-invisible. So what we're talking about here is a, is a marker that bird recognize, but is almost invisible to the human eye. And what it is here is we have a reflective coating on the outside surface of the glass, and we've stripped areas, fine lines of that coating to create a contrast. And birds are sensitive to both the UV signals that are emitted by the reflective coating and the contrast. Those two factors combined make it an effective bird-friendly solution. But there's more to glazing than just glass. The framing also plays a big part. And we spent some time talking with Pella Fco Commercial Solutions about some of their new products. This is our third generation unitized curtain wall system. This is called 8750X. And the big feature with this system is our thermal break that you see here. That's a Duracast component that's made by our parent company, Pella. So from a standard system now, we have what we think is the lowest U value that you can attain with the unitized system with one inch glazing. We are getting ready to launch the new Architect Series Monumental Hung, which goes up to sizes 72 inches wide and 144 inches tall, so a six foot by 12 foot window. What that allows us to do is get all of those commercial um, wood clad openings as well as historic renovation jobs. Um, we have the option of dual or triple glazing. With dual glazing, um, you have the option of a U-value of 0.28, and then we also have the option of going to triple, where you can get U-values as low as 0.18 with triple. 
I don't know about you, Nick, but I think this has been a great show so far, and I, for one, am learning a lot. Yeah, it has been. Uh, the glass and glazing industry has had a huge presence here for this architectural event, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, did you check out any seminars while you're here? I did. I went to one that is being was led by the architectural firm designing the new Sandy Hook Elementary School, and so I will be doing a separate USGNN news article on that next week. Okay, we'll be looking forward to that. Um, but that wraps up today's newscast. Keep watching USGNN for more news and videos from the AIA show. I'm Nick St. Dennis. And I'm Ellen Rogers. Thanks for watching.